Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2020. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sequence layers. So sequencing layers is very common if you're building out a slideshow or if you just want to display a bunch of graphics and you get the staircase effects where as you drag the playhead, you'll see it switch from one image or graphic to the next. Now you could just take each layer and drag them out manually like this and stagger them however you want. But there is a much easier way to do this in Adobe After Effects. To sequence layers in Adobe After Effects, let's say to make a slideshow, the first thing you want to consider is how long do you want each layer. I'm going to keep mine at one second. So I'm going to drag the current time indicator to one second. I'm going to select all layers. So I'm just going to press on one, hold the shift key to select all layers. I'm going to hold the option key on a Mac or Alt on PC and just tap on the right bracket key. And that will cut everything to the current time indicator, which is at one second. You also want to make sure that the composition duration is long enough to hold all the layers once they're sequenced. So I have 15 layers, they're one second apiece, so it's just going past the 15 second mark. I'm going to bring up the composition settings, command K, and you'll see here the duration of my composition is 30 seconds. Your composition just needs to be long enough to hold all the layers once they're sequenced. To sequence layers in Adobe After Effects, select the layers in the order that you want to sequence them. So I'm just going to start on the bottom here. I'm going to press the shift key and click on the top layer to select all the layers. I'm going to right click or control click. I'm going to go to keyframe assistant and click on sequence layers. You get this little pop up. I'm just going to keep the default settings and click on OK. And just like that, all of the layers are sequenced. If you want to reverse the order, click on the top layer, hold the shift key. I'll click on the bottom layer, right click or control click keyframe assistant, sequence layers, click OK. Now you see you reverse the order. Now I will show you how to overlap the layers and add a cross dissolve transition to make a nice slideshow. So first I'm going to select all the layers. I'm just going to make them a little bit longer so we have some room to work with. So two seconds and then just pull up your composition settings, command K to make sure the duration is long enough. So with all the layers selected, control click, right click, Keyframe Assistant, Sequence Layers. Now check this box, Overlap. The duration is the amount of time that you want the layers to overlap. You might have to do a little math here, but this is a 30 frames per second animation, so I'm just gonna put in 15 frames. That's basically gonna be half a second. Then you have some options here. You can have no transition, dissolve front layer, or cross dissolve the front and the back. I'm just going to keep it in the dissolve front layer, but definitely play around these settings, play around the duration to get just the way you want. Click OK. It's going to sequence the layers. You see they're overlapped. When I press the space bar to preview, now you'll see you have this nice cross dissolve transition, easy slideshows. And if you ever needed to reverse the layers, you would just come up here, select the top, go to the bottom, right click, keyframe assistant, keep the settings the same. Now you'll reverse the order of your layers. My name is Mike Murphy, and that is how you sequence layers in Adobe After Effects CC 2020. Cheers.